The holidays are here. That means the holiday weight gain is here too. Now, here's the thing with this year's <laughs> weight gain. Uh, it's actually a pound more than usual. Well, think about it though. People are staying home more. Mm-hmm. They're less physically active because of that. Yeah. And a lot of us are comfort food eaters. Yeah. When you're sitting there oh, watching yeah. TV, hanging out, you eat. And now we're going into the season of deliciousness. During the holidays, 43% of Americans will plan to break their diet and gain seven pounds by, by the time New Year's is done. Do they um, plan to gain seven pounds no. or is it just happens? That's, that's one pound more than 2018, the last time we did a study. That's more about than a this. pound a week. 45% of these surveys respondents said they've eaten so much. They have had to loosen their pants. 43% said they have gone uh, back for second servings uh, for meals or desserts on a single day. 35% admit to having eaten more than three meals a day. 30% have eaten until they felt unwell, like you're getting sick. Yeah, you're overeating at that point. 25% have eaten an extra large midnight snack, too. Over 60%. Um, so they plan to adopt a new year, new me attitude. Well, we all until January. do that every year. 40% said um, that uh, they have a health related resolution coming in 2021. Mm-hmm. Top three resolutions, of course, for, ne- for next year, exercising more yes. than making healthier Eating food decisions better, yes. and focusing on self-care number three. Now, Americans, though, uh, overwhelmingly believe they deserve more holiday treats. It's over 60% versus about 50% global response. Uh, or are making unhealthy decisions, 53% to 44%, because of this year it being so difficult. The whole world had a difficult year, yeah. though. So because the year has been difficult, you can have mortality treats because you deserve it. Oh, okay. Yeah. More info on the seven-pound holiday. We're, we're jerks. Weight gain right now. <laughs> yes, FM, Facebook, Twitter at 967, Yes, FM, and the Merz in the Morning page at yesfm.com.